What are you looking at today, Jumbo? Watching the autumn wind blow the leaves, and the wind makes the clouds all streaky. Can you see any pictures in the clouds? I can see spears. Now, now they're changing. Huh? It's wildflower. Look, she's dancing on the sky. Oh, oh, wildflower. Don't go. Hey, little rock, hey. We're hey, going to the forest, little rock. You got a nut so that wildflower can make necklaces. Oh, why do girls always like a dumb necklace? Because they're pretty to wear. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> I'm going to gather nuts. Huh? Jumbo, we're coming too. Yeah. 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 We're coming yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. But I find more nuts than anyone. Yeah, you want Coco? I will. Yeah. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Come to help, Wildflower. Is the necklace you're making going to be pretty? Well, not as pretty as I'd like, Butterfly. This season, I can't find enough colors in the nuts. All I can find are these brown ones, and they don't look very pretty. Wildflower, we're going to help you find some better ones. And I'll help. Uh, me too. Right, let's go. Yeah! Thank you, children. <laughs> Another. Mm. Oh, one. Uh, hey. Oh, a tree full. Oh, wildflower would like those. Mm. Dried up. We thought they were all right. They were the best we could find for you. I found some. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where are they? So pretty. They're beautiful, Jumbo. I'll go get some more. <laughs> Jumbo, you found quite enough already. That's just what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Got to find some more for lovely wildflower. Mm -hmm. oh, here you are, little squirrel. Here. <laughs> Butterfly, I found a pretty one. Yeah, that's nice. I'll get some more. Ah! Oh, what oh. happened, Clum Clum? I'm awful. Oh, now it's been made. Oh. <laughs> that's beautiful. You look like a princess. Oh, shucks, you look so pretty. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Oh, I must see for myself in the river. Oh. oh, you're all so kind. I do feel like a princess waiting for a Prince Charming. But Kum Kum, the one you made for Butterfly is nice too. I think so too, but yours is prettier. Hey, Wildflower, why don't we go and show everyone? Yes, and I'd like to show them to Roman, and Butterfly can show hers to her mama. Yeah, come on, let's show them. 
Come on, Wildflower. Let's go. Butterfly, you go. I'll wait for Big Brother. Right? <laughs> Where's everyone? They all went home. Huh? Went home? Why? Because Wildflower has finished making the necklace, Jumbo. Finished it? Brought you some fairy princesses, Water Lily. <laughs> Look at the necklace Wildflower made. Oh, oh, I say, magnificent, beautiful. Oh, my. lovely, lovely. Perfect, perfect. It's so gorgeous, Wildflower. Mama, what about mine, huh? What about my necklace? But of course, I think it's perfect. So divine, so divine. <laughs> come, come, made it. Wildflower? Hmm? Maybe I'm wrong, my dear, but something tells me you made your necklace to show someone special. Hmm? Well, don't be silly. <laughs> Why, <laughs> I believe you're blushing. <laughs> come, come, stop staring. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Wildflower, why did you blush? And why did Water Lily say there was someone special you wanted to show the necklace to? Tell us, Wildflower, who, who is it? Who is it? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know the secret. It'll be Jumbo. Huh? Why should it be Jumbo? I know. You made that up. Maybe it's the wise one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Poor Jumbo, he went to look for some more nuts for me. <laughs> Jumbo, I came to show you the necklace I made with all those pretty nuts you gathered for me. Oh, that's pretty. Just like the stars in the sky. I made one, too, out of bones. See? <laughs> Clever, Jumbo. <laughs> I made it for you because I saw you in the sky. The shiny stars fell from the sky and twined themselves about your head. You are so tender to my eye, like words of love so softly said. Jumbo, such beautiful words. Say it again, please. All right. Come on, Jumbo. Say it again. Um, let me see. The tiny stars fell from the sky and twined themselves about your head. The autumn wind blew in your eye. No, you're wrong. You are so tender. Oh, a wildflower took off the necklace and made me forget. Sorry, I'll put them back on. Hmm. There. Now, where was I? Twined themselves about your head. The tender wind got in your eye and made your nose all shiny red. <laughs> Red nose? I think it was clever, Jumbo. That's because he's my brother. That's why. My sister's prettier than your brother. Yeah. Well, I bet my brother's a lot stronger. Ah, my sister can make a better necklace. I can make a pretty necklace as well. My sister's prettier. And my brother's bigger. Oh, shut up. I'm cute, too. I'm glad that's over. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a shame that Jumbo couldn't remember the words of his lovely poem. And so do I. I'd like to remember them always. How could we remember them? If only we could lock words away in something. And then when we wanted to remember something, we could take the words out and listen to them. Lock words away in something. If only I could sit on my tower 
and speak words into the sky. And they'd hang there. And when I wanted them back, I could just reach out and take them. Jumbo, why didn't we think of that? Come, come, where are you taking us? To ask the wise one to carve Jumbo's poem on a slab. Yes, what a good idea. Then we can remember what Jumbo said. Well, of course, and the wise one can read it to us. <laughs> think of that. I'll be part of a book. <laughs> All about me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's go and make a book. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to carve something Jumbo said just so you won't forget it? Huh. I'm busy reading more important things than what he said. Go on, Wise One. I want to remember the nice poem he made up. And Wise One, you're the only one who can read and write. Why should I waste my time carving some silly poem just so you can remember it? Anyway, Jumbo, what are the words? Go on, tell me. <laughs> ah, lovely words. Well, <laughs> well, uh, well. Oh, that's much better. Well, uh, well. I haven't time to write that, by golly. Here, Jumbo, come and tell Wildflower. The shiny stars fell from the sky and twined themselves about your head. You are so tender to my eye, like words of love so softly said. Well, bless me soul, did Jumbo really make up that poem? Beautiful, beautiful. Then will you carve the words on a bookwise one? Eh, well, I must say they're worth writing down. Mind you, reading and writing keeps me busy all day, you know. <laughs> and so I don't have time to find food and to chop the firewood. And when my son Roman doesn't do it, then I expect somebody else to help me, eh? Roman? Where is Roman? Who knows? That lazy good-for-nothing could be anywhere. Oh. You know, writing books always gives me a big appetite. We'll find food. Come on, butterfly. <laughs> I'll get some wood. Come on, brother. Shucks, me too. I'll clean up your cave for you, wise one. <laughs> That'd be a help. The place hasn't been cleaned for the last 47 years. <gasps> 47 years? I had some beautiful words carved on stone just like Jumbo said. Hey? Come, come, say some beautiful words to me. What do you mean? What beautiful words? Some beautiful words about me because you think I'm pretty. Did I say that? I don't remember. Say some words. Uh, butterfly is pretty, we know that. Has red hair that's nice to pet. The face is round and the nose is flat. Huh? My nose is flat? How dare you? My nose isn't flat. Oh! Oh! Oh, you asked me to say something, Butterfly. Oh, fuffle. There, wise one. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's going to be handy, by golly. Can we watch you while you write down Jumbo's nice poem? Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? We've got all this food for you to eat. Jumbo's all ready to tell you. Tomorrow, tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. I've been writing all day and I've got a pain in my shoulder. It's, it's all a chiseling, you know. I feel it up here. <clears throat> now, off you go. Do it tomorrow. I've got writer's cramp and my fingers are only good for uh, eating. Oh, all right. I think he's a silly old man. <laughs> Lovely food, huh? Mushrooms, taro roots. Uh, Jumbo, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Close it. <laughs> the door, I mean. <laughs> uh, good night. Well, fancy Jumbo being all poetic, huh? It 
so exciting. I'm sure I won't get a wink of sleep tonight. Neither will Jumbo. I bet he's excited as well. It must be very nice to have the words you say carved onto a piece of rock. I wonder what Jumbo's doing now. My words will be carved on this tomorrow. The words I feel about Wildflower and how beautiful she is. Words captured for all time, for everyone to see, but that's wrong. Something said from the heart that someone should not belong to others. No! And Wildflower's name should be free like the birds. No! No one shall ever read between the lines of my poem the love I really feel for her. Jumbo! 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 Please answer me! Careful! Oh, shucks. Uh, I can't find Jumbo anywhere. Huh? Well, that's funny. He was looking forward to it so much. Maybe he's lost. Uh. Jumbo! 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 Hey! Jumbo! Anthony Jumbo! 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 Hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> Tweakies, maybe they've seen Jumbo. What is it? Jumbo! Jumbo! Huh? Oh, you found me. You forgot something. You forgot that Wise One is going to carve your words. All right, let's get started. I've got my tools and I'm all ready to go, Jumbo. Oh, sorry. You see, I changed my mind. But we brought the Wise One. Sorry about that, Kum Kum. But to repay him, I got all this firewood. Jumbo, do you mean to say you're going to disappoint all these good folk by changing your mind, eh? But I don't want the words written. But they're such nice words. <laughs> I can't think of the words anymore. Can't remember. Jumbo, is that the real reason? Words that are spoken into the air should be free to fly like the leaves and the birds, and secret thoughts should be written only in your memory, cause no words can show a picture as beautiful as the dreams you lock in your heart. Your thoughts and your wishes should be free to play and dance through your brain, where you can see something beautiful any time you wish. But when your words and your dreams are locked in a stone, they cannot play anymore. They're no longer free. They're trapped. Trapped. Trapped forever, without color, without feeling. I'm sorry, wise one. <laughs> A pity to trap words in stone, eh? I think I know what you mean. Do you, Butterfly? No, I'm afraid I don't. Do you, Crum Crum? No, I don't. Do you, Bumble? I don't know what he's talking about. Jumbo, I understand what you mean. Oh, I'm glad. Everybody should understand how Jumbo feels, and I'm willing to give up the whole idea. You're not going to write down his poem? Oh, that's too bad. Roman! Roman! Wait! Roman? Where's that wandering boy of mine been this time? Roman, look at my necklace. Does it make me look pretty? I think you're pretty without it. I made it just for you. Can't you tell me something nice? Words don't mean much. I, I 
I'd rather show you how I feel. What's that about? I don't oh, know. Shucks. It's that dumb love talk. Young people. Ah. There. When your words are locked in a stone, they're trapped forever. Hmm. Interesting thought. I only wish young Roman had a heart as gentle as Jumbo's. Hmm. stars fell from the sky and twined themselves about your head. What's wrong with him? I'm darned if I know. I don't understand my brother anymore. Do you know Bumbles? Hey? Eh? Ah! <laughs> oh, shucks, I don't know either. You are so tender to my eye, like words of love so softly said. <laughs> 